everyone and welcome yourselves to the channel and back for another big shot episode and today episode seven the road to season two three episodes left and a joyful season has been one of the best tv shows i've probably ever seen thank you to john stamos for being such an outstanding actor and person who has developed over such a brilliant season so spoilers ahead subscribe and like as always and do let me know down below your thoughts on big shot episode seven enjoy so big shot episode seven was a episode that focused on the relationship between marvin and um his uh, team you know the way he's trying to run his team the way he's with his assistant coach um uh, uh, Holly, his relationship, and trying to become a better father with Emma and her relationship with uh, Lucas, and you're seeing so many different things that have been the main themes of the show. You know, he's been distant with his daughter, but now has to step up and become a better father. Um, he goes out with Holly on a meal to talk about how wrongful he's been, how he didn't celebrate the victory that Holly achieved against the biggest in the biggest win six years. You know, they've not defeated um whatever the name is. Um Card Card Bad, is that the name? Um but it's not just that he he's going through all these issues of he doesn't really want this to be his life. He's trying to figure out if he should stay at high school. He's begging towards his friend Sam to get him back into the game, get him into a level he's used to and the intensity he's used to because everything's just becoming too much for him. He gets his statue back um in this episode um from Wisconsin that was taken down years ago and now he's getting attached to it. And you can tell his mind was sort of all over the place in this episode. As I said, he was, he's got his gratitude from Charlie, the therapist at school or psychiatrist, whatever, whatever his role is, guidance counselor. Louise said how much of a father figure he is in comparison to her own father. So I think that's a really cool, amazing step towards what happened in the first episode, what we've seen in the episodes in between episode seven and what happened in episode seven. So her relationship is my, one of my favorites with Corn. Um, as I said, he's making errors, you know, about parenting, but he was correct about the whole party thing. She went behind his back to send him on a wild goose chase, in a sense, to go on this meal with Holly to a place that would take a long time. Um, statue caused a hole in his house. He has every right to be angry with that. They made a mess outside. Multiple boys from Card Bad were invited uh, by Giggles. It just wasn't really going anyone's way, if you think about it. People got hurt. People got hurt. People mentally were being attacked. I, you know, that guy who was at the riot team was saying sit towards Louise and Olive, and Olive's now attracted to this Jake guy. They're planting the seeds for certain things to go forward in the final few episodes. You know, again, he has his moments at the end where he apologizes to Emma. He sets things right up with Holly and the team and giving her more of a responsibility going forward with coaching on certain days because he wanted to be he wanted to step away basically. But obviously Sam couldn't help him and he's Sam's like, you know, why don't you be happy where you are? You know, people would kill for this, you know, to be in an easier place in a sense by with his talent. And I think that's the best way of putting it. You know, Corn is so good at his job and he doesn't have the the, the, the um expectations that he used to have and he can enjoy life with his daughter and the kids who look and inspired to be like him and to work with a coach like holly so it took him an entire episode to reflect on everything he put the statue away finally and i love how he had that little smirk at the end I like he can have a cage a tiger you know with him in the wardrobe but um and how he asked the teacher out that made her smile like she's never smiled in a in her entire life certain moments like that just make the season feel so fulfilling because he he has bad moments because he's learning to be more humanized and i say that in a sense because basketball has always been his entire life he's he had a divorce he had a kid and now he doesn't even know where to deal with everything you know he's trying better 
better with Emma. You know, he's trying to do things with the team and the school and to rectify his past with new beginnings, taking on a girlfriend and new responsibilities and trying to deal with the fact of his daughter wants to date this guy. <laughs> the expectations of being a role model for the girls. There's a lot riding on him as a character. And I always say this, John Stamos performs it to perfection. The cast is brilliant and the relationships are the thing that drives the show for me. And we continue on these roads of um, just truly being invested in this guy. It's true, truly amazing that how how well, how good this show is. And everyone, again, I keep saying this, you go, you guys need to watch it. Even if you're not a big basketball fan, like, I enjoy basketball. I'm not a huge basketball fan. I don't watch it outside of this. It's the same for hockey. I don't watch ice hockey, but I love Mighty Ducks. And that's how good the shows are because they roll you in, they reel you in with good characters and good writing, good camera shots, and a good vision of what to expect from the show. Will Holly coach in that final... He- will she be the head coach in the final episode? Who will, you know... Who will be the best of the players? All of them, because they're all fine positions. Who's going to be in a relationship? You know, Louise broke it off with her boyfriend. Not broke it off because of the boyfriend, but they didn't know where they were in the, at the time, and she just wants a friend at this point. So really good to see where the characters are going. It's been a fantastic show so far. So three episodes left, and they'll be starting with season two. So stay tuned for more episodes coming soon to the channel. Go check out all the previous ones. Thanks for watching, as always. A brilliant, brilliant show with so much potential, and I can't wait to see if it can go past season two. Until next time, goodbye.